Kenya's exports of tea, flowers, coffee and fruits to Russia have been relayed due to sanctions imposed on Moscow by the United States and the European Union. This has further been worsened after major shipping lines temporarily suspended cargo shipments to and from Russia in response to the sanctions. Labor Cabinet Secretary Simon Chilugui says the current rerouting of planes from the war-torn country to the Far East has made exports to Russia expensive. The sweeping sanctions imposed by the West on Russia due to its military activities in Ukraine have turned into a major headache for Kenya, which has been diversifying its export base in Moscow. Kenya has been pursuing aggressively the Russian markets with trade between the two countries, topping 47 billion shillings in 2020, and is expected to reach 100 billion shillings by the year 2030. Russia has become a major buyer of Kenyan tea, flowers and horticulture. Moscow has also been growing as a major source of tourists to Kenya, with Nairobi targeting more chartered flights from the Far East nation. Labor Cabinet Secretary Simon Chalugui has said the blockade of exports is set to double the cost of shipment of commodities, which will directly eat into the returns of smallholder horticulture farmers. Which is going to affect employers and employees and the business, how business will be conducted. Speaking in Mombasa during the ongoing employer summit, Chalugui has also expressed fears that if the conflict is prolonged, fertilizer prices are likely to double since Ukraine is a major source of fertilizer for Kenya. Borrowing across the globe will also be affected because there are embargoes that the world is uh, mobilizing themselves to suspend, to stop and even block. And that will still have an impact on employers and employees. There is no two way out because that is where the world is. If we don't do so, we'll find ourselves irrelevant. Hibak Said for Lunchtime News.